Great Collapse, Switzerland's glacier disaster that buried a village alive. Date, May 29, 2025. Location, Blatten, Valle Canton, Switzerland. By NSM, a catastrophic environmental event has struck the heart of the Swiss Alps in what is now being called the Great Collapse. A sudden massive glacier failure that obliterated the picturesque alpine village of Blatten in the canton of Valais. The event unfolded in the early hours of May 29th, 20-25, when a vast section of the Alec Glacier, the largest glacier in the European Alps, fractured and collapsed, releasing an overwhelming surge of ice, rock and earth into the valley below. Within moments, this towering wave of destruction thundered down the mountainside, engulfing the valley and transforming a thriving community into a graveyard of silence beneath tons of glacial debris. What, what was once a scenic, peaceful village surrounded by emerald meadows and soaring alpine peaks is now nothing more than a distant memory buried under a thick layer of frozen earth. Timeline of the Catastrophe At 4.42 a.m. local time, remote seismic monitoring stations across Valais and Bern registered a sharp tremor equivalent to a magnitude 4.2 earthquake. Within seconds, radar and satellite imagery showed a 1.5-kilometer-wide section of the Alec Glacier's southern tongue breaking apart. Scientists later confirmed that a massive internal cavity had formed inside the glacier, an enormous void filled with meltwater, acting like a ticking time bomb. The glacier's base, weakened by decades of retreat and the thawing of permafrost beneath, finally gave way. The weight of the overlying ice crushed the hollowed structure below it, triggering a glacial collapse and debris avalanche that moved at speeds exceeding 200 kilopurti to seatage. The roaring mass cascaded downwards, slamming into the unsuspecting village of Blatten, as well as the adjacent hamlets of Ried and Egger, before coming to a halt just north of the Lurchental Valley. Scientific Explanations Why the Glacier Collapsed Switzerland's glaciologists and environmental scientists had been monitoring the Alec Glacier for decades, documenting its alarming rate of retreat. Since 2000 alone, it has lost more than 2.5 kilometers of length and 40% of its volume driven by rising alpine temperatures and prolonged summer heat waves. However, this type of sudden mechanical collapse had never been recorded in Swiss history. Dr. Emil Rauscher, lead glaciologist at the University of Bern, offered an urgent assessment. This wasn't just surface melt. 
we're talking about a complete failure of the glacier's structural core. Meltwater tunneled beneath the ice, permafrost thawed, and eventually, the glacier's foundation lost its integrity. It was no longer able to support its own mass. This type of event, termed a glacial slope failure, is similar to landslides, but vastly more destructive due to the added mass of ice and pressure. Scientists believe that the permafrost, which has acted as the glue binding the Alps for millennia, is now rapidly disappearing under climate pressure. Human toll, a village vanished. Swiss authorities have confirmed that 117 residents are currently unaccounted for with dozens of others injured and evacuated. The destruction occurred so quickly that there was no time to sound a warning. Survivors from nearby towns described hearing a sound like a jet engine crashing through the mountains. followed by a wind so violent that it shattered windows and threw vehicles sideways. Lena Morgenthaler, a resident of Raron who was visiting family near Blatten that night, tearfully recounted, the ground shook like a bomb had gone off. The entire mountain lit up with this blinding white light Ice, dust, screaming. And then it all went dark. Everything just vanished. Rescue efforts began at sunrise, but progress has been slow. The terrain is treacherous with unstable ice blocks and deep mud threatening to engulf heavy machinery. Rescue teams from across Europe, Germany, Austria, Italy and France have converged on the site. But the operation remains a race against time. Drones are now being deployed to locate possible air pockets beneath the debris where survivors could still be trapped. Hope remains faint but unwavering. 